गुड मॉर्निंग अस्सलाम वालेकुम नमस्कार माय टॉपिक इज लैंग्वेज ऑफ अ कल्चर सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल लाइक टू टेल यू व्हाट इज द लैंग्वेज एज बी ऑल नो दैट लैंग्वेज इज अ मींस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इट इज यूज्ड टू एक्सचेंज द आइडियाज एंड इफ वी नो द लैंग्वेज ऑफ अ कम्युनिटी और द लैंग्वेज ऑफ सम पीपल देन वी कैन नो दा वी कैन जज द द परसेप्शन द बिलीफ सिस्टम द कल्चर एंड द रिलीजन ऑफ ऑफ दैट कम्युनिटी सो इट मीन्स दैट लैंग्वेज इज नॉट अ लैंग्वेज इज नॉट अ इनोशन टूल रेदर इट्स अ पोलिटिकल टूल इट एडवांटेज वन ओवर अदर सच एज मेल ओवर फीमेल अ रिच ओवर पुअर to it you know it helps us it the language helps us to be the part of some community it also limits us to the part of community it reflects our belief system culture or everything us everything that we are having now let me talk about the identity what is our identity so identity is the part of personality and what's the personality personality is a part is a personal identity of a person it how identity is formed it is formed on the basis of the religion caste creed and sex of a person it the ethnicity is also there it, it forms the uh, it is also part of identity so i think to change the identity tb mekule on 2nd february 1835 introduced the system of english education he said he uh, he reserved the or he um, reserved the 1 lakh rupees for for english education system he said that if they are they want to uh, educate or they want to be educated in other medium then they can do it by themselves but for for english education system he supported 1 lakh rupees and what was his intention his intention was that that he wanted to make a class of indian that will be english in test and that will be english in test moral and opinion but that will be indian in color and blood and so be be all of of all of us become like that our test is of we are having english test now let me talk about uh, another a prominent writer he is from nigeria from south africa continent so he 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 wrote so many essays and delivered a, a lot of many lectures in that if we conclude that then he wrote a book that with the title decolonizing the mind and in which he raised the question of he raised the question of language he says that nigeria has worked has its own culture but europeans the britishers has you know he represent nigeria as a that nigeria needs them to develop itself and it's not like that they exploited them because it was of course of guys the south africa is the source of uh, so many raw material so they did exploited in that way so he said that on the name of uh, civilization on the name of development he exploited us so he raised the question of uh, language and he said that you know when we speak other language other than our mother tongue then it it is somehow makes us alienated it makes us isolated so you know it is such, such sort of situation is there that man is without head and when is without man is without head then the society is without without man it the society becomes you know headless society now let me uh, also quote um, uh, uh, let me also introduce another novel it is written by em foster and that's uh, the title is the uh, a passage to england so i would like to there are so many prominent character are there of course but i would like to introduce two character one is dr aziz and uh, another is mr roni now when i talk about this character mr uh, dr ajiz he is a prominent and bell is a uh, skilled doctor who who he who's you know skilled then 
many European doctors. And because of this skill, uh, Mr. Roney is somehow jealous, is felt very jealous at him. So when he, you know, his, his mother called him, because his fiance, fiance was also there and they called him to attend the meeting. And uh, the meeting was something like that, you know, to meet the, to join the, to connect the West and East. Such as uh, there is an essay in which it is said that East is East and West is West and never shall twin meet. Then it's impossible to meet them, to bring them closer. In that, in that meeting, Mr. Ronnie, who is a city magistrate, who is a described as a city magistrate, criticized this, this Dr. Ajiz. And Dr. Ajiz himself says that, that when I, when I, when, when, when I'm putting English dress, the policemen don't restrict me. They don't ask me question. And when I'm in Indian dress, they ask so many questions. So it is just, it is just a part of test. It is just part of perception or individual perception. And he, when he talks to the English woman, such as their court scene is also in that novel, you know that these, these are the, these are not the novels, these are not the dramas only just. Literature is both, it is representing human experiences. So there is when, when he talks to the English women, he could not differentiate between, he could not di discriminate between a man and a woman. He talks to the woman in the same way as he is talking to a man. So he says that, he thinks that, that he is very confused. Sometimes he thinks that he is Indian and sometimes other time, other time he is thinks that he is a British. British us. And same problem is with, with the Indian who are, who are settled in, in abroad. Such as their liter literature is also written um, over them that's called marginal literature and, and diaspora identity. So all about is that, that when we read the works of Ravindranath Tagore, R.K. Narayan and um, the Raja Rao's novels also in Kantapara novels also and if we read the read the a uh, forward to Kantapura in which uh, Raja Rao strictly mentioned that we are part of globalized world but we are no longer we are no longer only Indian we write in English although we say that English is an alien language English is no longer alien language it has become a part of our, our our, our civilization as part, part of become our own personality. Of course, I know that language, culture is also a, a dynamic. As the Homi Baba also says in his one of his essay, that uh, culture is also dynamic. So all, all that I want to say is that we should adapt some, you know, some own cultural way, some own uh, country way. That should be a part of our own accent also. Then to we should try to preserve our culture by using the, uh, a lingua franca that's English. We should adapt their language but to develop ourselves. So thank you.